Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 3 as the Wendish Empire. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So, we have just taken over a nice territory from White Roos. I'm trying to think if I want to declare war on any of you. Because we can get one territory here which wouldn't be bad. I would really like... Because you're not actually you're not allied to these people anymore. Interesting, interesting, interesting. But I can no longer claim the entirety of the territory. So I'm just going to push for the Desert Territory. Um, raise our troops at red and immediately just send you over to here actually yeah no 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 we, we should be good are you at war with anybody else you're technically at war with France wait why are you at war with France I'm not too sure holy war for the county of Saris oh cause you're trying to take that territory okay that actually makes sense here comes hostile forces we gotta make sure for sure That, um, why, why are we not, like that, is that not five holdings? I can't, I can't five, but maybe I'm bad at math. Do not let Krakow fall. Please, under any circumstances, do not let the city fall. It's a level seven fort. Which to me sounds, you're plus 22. I'm a holy warrior. But I don't think you guys... I mean, right now, you are... You're Reaver. You're also Holy Warrior. Raid Speed. Really, you're not that great. I'm going to put you in charge of this army instead. Because you're a rough terrain fighter, you should maybe get a little bit of a bonus here. And our Marshal will replace him with the King of Ruthenia. Congratulations to you. Please keep in... Oh, you already had a hundred second control. Oh, Fantastic. Then you will just train commanders, please. I think we need some better people leading our armies. Who are you? You are just my vassal. Generous liege is... Minus 5% taxes. We can make you wounded. Or Emperor Heinrich IV. The HRE... Wait, what is it? That emperor, my vassal, owed me allegiance, my word is law, but how much of the allegiance is held devotion worth? Fear. Who are you? You are, again, you're my vassal. You're already wounded, but you're orthodox and Pomeranian. Let's gain a 24 dread. And we'll kind of see how that plays out. Because I'm sure we, we're actually, we're, we're staying at negative 13. We're one-eyed and we serve the crown. So actually a plus 25 resting points. Isn't too, too bad. We'll fight you guys once again. We should still win the battle. Our troops are just much better than yours. Fantastic. So th this is this is revenge for my father's failed war against you. And if France actually decides to show up, I wouldn't be too upset about that. The HRE also now just owns a bunch of territory just kind of everywhere. I'm not too sure when or how they got it. Uh, thank you, Mr. Pope, for the money. I can ransom you for 50 gold. And I can designate a, my son and heir. Of course, I will educate them myself. 450. 300 have taken over this area. I just can't let myself get captured again. Okay, I honestly think I was about to get captured, which would have been hilarious, but also really sad. So what are you? You're an adulterer, pregnant, you're a fornicator. Of course you're unfaithful. Um. You be my rival. You gain stress because you are forgiving. I've gained a loyalty hook on the Empress. Where is the ruler here? You are actually leading the army, so I might actually be able to capture you in combat. Which would be nice. Okay, we're at plus 54. Um, you also hold these territories yourself, I believe. So let's go over to you. We could try to chase this army down. 
It's probably actually going to go... Yeah, it's actually going over here. So let's, let's chase him down. See if we can get the kill. 1,400 men. But each battle... Plus 70. Oh, you know what? We don't own... The, this This is the war goal. We, we should probably try to fight for the war goal. Instead of just taking the capital. That actually makes a lot of sense. But I now have a son. I will name him after my father. Who got thrown in jail like 15 times, I think. But... That's okay. You guys will siege this stuff down. And I think as soon as we actually win here, we should get 100%. Yes, fantastic. So we'll enforce our demands. Thank you. Expand the military. You are now belonging to them. Again, so many of our... Um, of our dukes are just incredibly, incredibly powerful. Like, this whole area here is led, is ruled by two people. Um, well, two direct vassals, I should say, because I'm, I'm sure they have a bunch of vassals themselves. Monthly prestige per dead plus 1%, so that's actually going to be a base plus 25 prestige, which is really good, actually. We discovered windmills! Fantastic! What can you do? You're an honorable fool. You do love me, which is nice. Your lifestyle right now is authority... And there's anybody up here that I want. We have claims on you. But again, you're Upper Poland. And it scares me to give you more land. That That's the problem. Is that it just scares me a little bit. To make some of our dukes even more powerful. I mean, they like us for the most part. Actually, no, you do not. Why do you hate me so much? What if I push your claim then? I will attack Smolensk. You have 5,000 men, really? All of them is mostly because you are their ally. So, I was going to push it, but apparently that war is actually going to be a thousand times harder than I would have originally anticipated. So, it does change my thoughts on it. What about Sweden? Sweden, what if I declare war for you? You have 10,000 men. You know what? That's, that's too many men. I don't want to deal with that right now. I just want a simple war. Is that so much to ask? What about Count Ian? Vassal in your realm. 1300 prestige. I mean, you know what? I'm actually close to getting enough. Let, let's try the Bohemian War one more time. Once we get enough prestige, which I can actually probably get from... Just paying some money, actually. You're my son. I'll educate you. If I just... um, Let's say you usurp this, this territory... I now have enough prestige. Fantastic. Um, who's in that duchy? You're part of that. You know what, Count? I'm going to give you that... Actually, no. Or, or should I keep it? Yeah, I think I have two duchies basically for free. So I'm going to keep that duchy myself. It'll probably make some of you guys angry about that decision. But I don't care so much. What's a duchy, Bohemia? The whole thing's a duchy, huh? What if I declare war? I'm going to try it. It's going to cost us all of our prestige. Uh, become diligent is pretty good. Where is the king? The, the, the queen is in Prague. So we're going to go to Prague. It is being sieged down right now. You know what? Let's, let's siege this then. We have 2,000 or 1,900 men right there. Dejuri has a... You already love me. So I don't need to sway you anymore. I need to sway you to make you not hate me. How many men do you guys have? 16,000? Okay, that is a significant number. I will admit. How are you doing? At negative 71% now. Take this fortress... And then I'm going to come here and see if maybe this time I can capture the queen. Because maybe if I can capture the queen, it's instantly 100% for me. Uh, which is nice. Who is this? Why are you at war over here? You know what? I think my, uh, or my vassal probably took this territory and now we're at war. So thanks for that, I guess. So you will be sieging this stuff as fast as you possibly can. 
So I can either learn Polish. Ruling the multicultural Wendish Empire comes with its own set of challenges. Um, hire a tutor to instruct me. 57% chance. We might be able to get it to work. And a friendship with you. You are a fool. Um. Now, nah, we'll, we'll, we'll just leave me alone for now. Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, you're going to kill me anyway. Okay, don't fight the HRV. They are... Definitely don't want to be, adopt the Russian culture. Unfortunately, I have... I have not lost the war. I'm still actually fighting for the, the, the crown of... I lost a duchy, but I can hold on to the territory here. It's a little bit of a strange one, I will admit. I mean, the HRE is getting pretty strong. So, basically, the HRE is going to own all of Bohemia, but I'll technically have the kingdom underneath my... like my belt, I guess. Get a new fascination. Um, right now. Currently, it's high medieval. Let's... We can, can we not recruit trebuchets? Monthly proceed plus 5%. Urbanization? Windmills we've already gotten. Land grants, guilds. Trebuchets. Damage? You know what? Let's get some advanced bow making. Seems like an okay choice for us. Okay, let's go fight these guys off. Like, what territory do you even have right now? You're actually... Your kingdom's in the middle of the uh, DHRE. I don't know if you know that or not. Okay, so come fight you guys. You have been killed. We'll send you over to deal with this area. Thank you. And what, are, what is this war about? You want Tula, which is this area here. Um, like, Ruthenia, do you not have any interest in fighting that war yourself? So let's go to Wulkenstein. We'll fight these guys for now. Thank you. And my rival has died! Fantastic! Take that, you nerd. Give me 10 gold. I can call you. Call you into this war here. Thank you. I don't even know where you actually are. I'm gonna sign you, my daughter. Let's try... A knight... Some of all skills. My wife, yeah. Why don't you educate our daughter? We can ally you in the HRE, but I really don't see a good reason to do that right now. So we're now at plus 38. Occupy counties. Battles 1 is pretty good. So who did I even call into this war? I called in... Yeah, the guy lives in southern Italy. So apparently, I don't think he's going to be helping us out too much, honestly. Still 65 supplies. Or plus 53, which means... I don't even want to send troops over there. I kind of don't right now. If I lose Tula, which is... I mean, it's de jure. Seven developments. They hate us. They are Sumanesco, and they are this uh, culture group, which I can't really tell which one it is. Yeah, that's much way through the HRE. I'm sure that's fine. They won't, uh, they won't notice that at all. The Commander's been promoted. Yeah, sure, why not? Promising new recruit, I'll take him. I don't think I lose anything out of that. So we'll get another 20 gold off of you. There we go, a great deal for us. We're plus 48, but once we take over your capital, we should get 100%. And my son and heir, playing on my bow. Surprised he ran into a wounded doe. 
Become paranoid, ambitious. Become, become uh, ambitious. Definitely better, I think, than paranoid or uh, or the hell the other one was. Monthly prestige per night. Yeah, just give me like a ton of prestige benefits here. Thank you. We're slowly sieging now, uh, uh, down that area. Once um, Bohemia is controlled by us, we can easily send these guys back through the Wendish Empire with no real loss to ourselves. Do I not own, own all your territory? No, you also technically own somewhere down there as well. Occupying it at 20%, 10% for the capital. We'll fight one more battle here. I mean, how much is it because they control my territory? It's a negative 8%. I mean, it's like, I wouldn't want to lose the territory that I just got. We're at 94%. Uh, you guys come down to here. Win this battle, 100%. Force our demands. And now I'm going to send you down to here. So now we have the Kingdom of Bohemia. Which is now just a bunch of random territory just kind of everywhere. Uh, around. So that's nice. And Hungary, of course, we now have a lot of desert claims against you. We've got a lot of desert claims against the HRE. I wish we were able to capture the Queen of Bohemia a lot sooner than we did. Of course, you guys are now starving. I'm going to split you in half. Ambitious is fine. So now that they've been split in half, you should not be worrying too much about food. And send you forward like that. So you should be able to resupply now just fine. Oh yeah, all of this region. Now is de jure belonging to us. You should you still need a plus 69 even though I've given you a ton of stuff. I'm actually a little bit insulted, quite honestly. I'm going to send you up to Tula. Because I'm sure probably like 40% of this is just because we don't have the... Yeah, exactly 41%. So I was actually pretty close. 40% is because we don't have that. And after that, we could send you to take their capital. It would not hurt. Or I can send you to fight these guys. Uh, both those battles went pretty poorly. I think we have just lost, but you know what? That's okay. If they want Tula, they can have Tula. Expand our armies. We're also now one-legged. We have one leg and we have learning plus one. Natural dread is now negative 10 because, you know, apparently I'm significantly less threatening if I only have one foot. Also, the HRE has annexed all of Sweden as well, which... Is a little bit worrying that the HRE is now getting incredibly, incredibly powerful. Hungary, by the way, whose capital is down here. We could holy war against you. You have 259 men, really? I mean, I've... I can de jure claim a duchy from you. 540. Or I holy war for it. But I think you're already at war with the HRE. But you're fighting for like, the county of... What are you fighting for? You're fighting for the county of Zonjumo. Which is... This one right here. But I think we would still be considered hostile. Maybe? But I do think I want to come fight you. So, hey. I mean, for King Ian's claims... What about, um... Yeah, you're now the king of Bohemia. What if I just fight your war for the king of Hungary? I know you cost a lot of prestige as well. But I'm kind of like, screw it, why not? We've declared war on you for my claims. You're now considered hostile, but I'm not too worried about that. Because once you've won your war here, you should be okay. This honor has come at a cost. Because you should be here. I'm going to raise up our troops. 
And now I want you, my marshal, to train more units. Is fine. Promote my culture back up towards the north. And we're just going to go... I mean, how many should... You have 1,300 men? 1,000 men? Okay, so I can easily actually split this army in half. One of you guys, let's just say, goes to... Here. I still want you to come down here, but each move will get a lot of casualties. So we'll, we'll, we'll slowly advance through your territory instead. Act of tyranny. You know what? You can join our court. That's fine. Let's just try to make sure the HRV doesn't get the rise of the Mongols. Words reads me of new leaders risen up among the barbarian tribes in the distant steppes. This, uh, I think that's, um, Genghis Khan. As a kind of self ruler of the universe, Genghis Khan, and has sworn to conquer the entire world. Well. Are you Genghis Khan? On tour of Mongolia. No, it's you over here. Pay $300 to you. No, I, I don't need to think any, I don't need to pay you any money. Don't worry about that. And impatient, shy, or gluttonous. I think just impatient is an... Oh, relatively okay choice for you. I mean, we're technically hostile towards HRE because he's fighting over territory. I mean, why are we actually hostile towards you? Because I'm fighting for this kingdom. You're fighting for a county that's not actually within the kingdom's borders. So I'm not too sure what the, uh, the problem there is. Yeah, the fort level here is pretty high. But we'll just kind of keep advancing down towards the south. 1,000 men here. And, of course, they're going to go straight to Krakow. But once you guys have won this battle... Because who else are we at war with? It's just you, 1,500 men. Once you've taken this siege, I'm going to send you up towards the north again. Uh, now you're going to go up here. Fantastic. Keep on marching southwards. I mean, I would like to capture the queen. But where is the queen? The queen's actually in this army. So the queen's in the army. We're really just going to sit around and siege some stuff down. But if I were to take the capital, we can probably capture some of her family, including, you know, heirs and whatnot. Which could be pretty nice. Let's go fight against you. Looks like we shall win that war. More skill points for our children. Kill you off. We can ransom prisoners, but we'll worry about that afterwards. Once we slowly siege down all of Hungary here. We're at 45%. You know, we'll siege this fort while we're in the area. Why not? And of course, you're now probably fighting a uh, yeah, Liberty War. I'm not too sure how the Liberty War works after um, we've won in, in, in total. Like, we've become the king. You know what? If you're here, you might as well just go and siege down the capital. We can probably kill any of these smaller armies if we have to anyways. In the HRE, are you not worth anybody? No, you're Upper Silesia. You're fighting this guy for a holy war. Okay. Ah, uh, that's acceptable, I would say. I will then want to assign you. Oh, I lost. I lost a big battle somewhere. You have 4,000 men? Okay, that's definitely a bigger battle than I would have thought that would uh, be possible here. But I'll keep sieging down your stuff. And if the queen is still leading this army, then we want to come kill them. ASAP. 3,000 men, 500 men. Yeah, because you come down to here. We can fight this army. It's up to 67. Which now I want you to come to down to here. Just siege this territory up towards the north. If you lose the Liberty War, it really doesn't make any difference for us. I would say at all. Again, I don't know who in, the, in this uh, list matters for our war score. If anybody. No, it doesn't actually look like it. But no... We're not going to convert to one of these heresies. Because there's a trillion heresies on the planet right now. I will take the 50 gold from you, though. Thank you. Your 4 level is pretty high. 4 level and everywhere else is pretty...
pretty low, all things considered. And we've gained a hook on you. Why, I don't know. Why do we have a hook on you? I don't know. I guess we'll uh, prepare another crusade. I don't know if this one will ever actually come to pass, much like the previous one. 16,000 men here. We do want to kill this Hungarian army if we can. Once you're done this siege, I know the fort level is pretty high and our troops are a little bit garbage, all things considered. We're now 57%. What is the... You control the war target. I don't know how that's the case. Is there any troops... Okay, there's nobody up there that's hostile. So once you take this, I'm going to... You're still hostile towards me because you're still fighting. Oh, no, you're hostile because you are... Okay, I see. Okay, we're at 94%. Unless none of that was part of... No, it's all been part of Hungary. So I'm not too sure, actually, what the problem was. Do not fight that army. Let's go up to Bohemia, then. I'm going to have to fight you, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. But that shouldn't count against us, because it's a vassal and not the actual army. Which does make a difference. Are you going to come fight me? I don't think so. They did absolutely destroy my other troops, which sucks. Uh, Benefactory, let us put in our cousin, who is of our dynasty. Thank uh, yeah, select you. And is this going to be 100%? 98%! Are you kidding me? How fast do you reinforce? The answer is I don't know. And are we getting a taking war score yet? Battles won. Partial. Siege. Yeah, no. I think as soon as you fall, we should win our war. And there we go. I'll name my son after myself. I have won the war against you. Oh, and I take all of the territory. How fantastic is that? Really? You still don't like me that much? Mass massive levy contribution. Fine. You know what? I will modify your contract. We'll set you down to high. I've already changed it. Apparently, I can't do it again. What if I dissuade you? Make you like me a little bit. You are now the king of Hungary, so I mean... The direct vassals of the Empire... Are pretty... We got big Hungary, big Ruthenia, big Lithuania. And... I mean, we got a lot of prestige, I'm sure, for uh, winning that fight. But the HRE is now declared war on us. Why did you... Wait, 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 wait. Why did you... Wait, wait. Why do I not own this territory now? You want the Duchy of Moravia? But why does Dane's Law own up here now? I do not know. I know we cannot win a war against the HRE. They have... They only have five... No, they have... 17,000 men. And are allied to Venice. So, you know what? I'm just going to surrender right away. That's fine. And this is a war for Jerusalem. But I do think that, you know, with the Wendish Empire looking kind of like a mess, to be quite honest with you. And are all you guys... I think you're all in the Crusade, right? Yes, that's why it looks like you're independent. Still don't know why you became independent. You just kind of took over my land. But I think with our kind of messy borders that we've created right now, this is going to be a good time to end this episode. And in fact, I think end this series. I think it's the first uh, introductory series uh, to CK3. Yeah, I think the series went pretty well, even though it had a lot of ups and downs. So, but tune in tomorrow where we're going to be starting a brand new Let's Play series in Crusader Kings 2. Don't know who we're going to be playing as quite yet, but there will definitely be a... Uh, maybe like a poll. Maybe I'll do like a poll to figure out who we're going to play after this. But thanks for watching. Have a great day and goodbye.